Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another Gemstone Legends of War video. We are in a great spot, so it's just about taking targets out down to the last hour. Our side is completely covered, and uh, we must have taken the treasury already, but it looks like they reclaimed the gate, perhaps for points. So we're just going to take all towers down to one. And I'll jump in here. Wow. Um, a word of advice uh, to anyone, but having this kind of the second one down, you can't see where I'm pointing, but the second one down wins 28, losses 117. You want to reset this team. You just take a hero out, put the same hero back in and save it, and it will reset the record because now you're telegraphing like this is not much of a difficult team for most people. Most people can beat this team. Uh, it's when you don't know that you are forced to take your strongest teams into battle and maybe you waste it. Um, so I recommend keeping that in mind, like 0 and 8. <laughs> you don't want to be showing people that your team has a record of 0 and 8 or 1 and 8 or, you know, all that kind of stuff is just not a good strategy. It's a little psychological game to reset the record or if it's a really good team you could leave uh the record there but i think the best thing that can happen is someone underestimates a team and it turns into a loss it's great to um to bait out strong teams as well so i think not knowing how good a team is even if it's a really good team and it's you know zero and zero or something like that i think is probably the way to go even as opposed to having a strong record of like 50 and 50. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. Okay, so towers down to one. Um, let's go here. And let's see. It's really just Arthur. But I kind of want to take... Nizet, and I think maybe even with Myra, because I feel like I can kind of get away with stuff here, based on this team. Um, do I want to bring Taunt? I think I'd rather just bring Sleep. So we'll go Myra. Nizet, who should hit those supports nice and hard. Especially with Myra. And then let's go... Inula and something. I don't think I ever use two Neferis, so let's bring one as a just in case. And attack. We don't have good leader abilities here, but whatever. So, yeah, maybe I'm underestimating this team. If it were zero and zero, I certainly would not be going in this casually, but since it is. Zero and zero. I'm going in much more casually. Also, just saying things out loud as I see them. If you're going to have a glass cannon like Arthur on a team, you need to have a faster hero on there. Otherwise, what happens if you, know, if you can't get a first turn or something like that and get taunt active or something, people are just going to come in and blow through you with uh, battle items. So now there's no one dangerous left on this team so it's possible that is why the team has not performed well um that's one theory at least okay so we want to mana deny yellows and i guess we'll take some purples too Okay, we are almost ready to go. So let's hit Myra here. What is her? I'm on again, 24. And let's go here. Nice. Unfortunately, that is where Nizet is at her best. Um, it's not like so deeply, unfortunately, but um, I thought 
she might be better than she is, but she's really only well suited for hitting support heroes, in my opinion. Yes, you can use her outside of that. I guess it's, it kind of depends what you have going on for you, but um, you can't expect to see those hits elsewhere. And I found that out the hard way. I took the gear off of my um, off of my Arthur and put it on her, thinking, man, maybe she has the potential to be better, but she only has the potential to be better against the, against yellow supports, really, and, you know, you need someone a bit more flexible than that, in my opinion. Okay, so, as predicted, no problem. Uh, I guess we'll jump in here. So, what is the actual toughest team? It's probably this one in the middle here. So, that's where we'll take our best team. Speed lead. Battering rams. And let's go heal block. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. Still got him. Oh, fucking idiot. Forgot about that. Fucking shield. Um, okay, so we have to get through all of their turns. Gladiosa is the only one to worry about. Um, so we'll just... Take all the purples. Oh no, Taunt, what are we going to do? Alright. Taunt's already almost worn off, that's hilarious. Okay, so... Might as well use... Okay. Might as well use Gladiosa, since we're going to match more purples. Zarkon. Let's go for this. Ah, he's pretty defensive. We're not dealing much damage to him at all. Um, it looks like Nefri should die, she's gonna come right back, which is great, because that steals a bunch of health from Leopold. Okay. We can just cleanse that away, as long as we don't lose anybody here. That silence was not what we needed. Oh, shit. Okay. There's no taunt, so hopefully we can silence. Okay. Hopefully she doesn't die. Woo! Ah, oh, the heal block. Because the statuses only get removed after. We have one thing of poison, which is going to take 5%. So a 20th. Which is more than a 1,000. So I don't know if the link can help keep her alive. 
Okay, that worked out pretty well, actually. Need to try to get another heel going. But we have a little bit of time. And just choke them all with poison in the meantime. Okay. That was close. That was very close. All right, let's take blues away from them. Give them a bunch of red and greens to work with, and then poof. All right, Leo's dead, which is good. Really picking on Citadel there. Doesn't happen very often. Got the most health and the least amount of statuses. All right, that was a little bit close in that I almost lost one hero, which is interesting for a team full of supports. And one, you know, minor attacker. I don't think he's quite going to die. Okay, he did. Alrighty. Next up. I think we got to go for this team just because I was making fun of it. Watch me lose, right? Okay, Caltrops again. Well, we know what to do. Beautiful. Okay. Damn, Strybog not quite charged, so maybe we'll save. Oh, I didn't need to do that, but okay. Let's get Strybog charged here, and I guess we'll start matching purples again. Because what we want to do is this. Run them over. All right. Fucking caltrops are quite annoying. Oh, nice. We got lucky on the combos. Oh, not lucky enough. Strybog's still not charged. But now we're going to be good. All right, we should kill Leo just since he's the only hope there. Okay. unlock him all right three more attacks let's mix it up well oh, what's our reward five <laughs> Woo! Ah. got another decently good team here 
I don't really have that many purples left. Let's see, let's do this, 40, 50. This is probably overkill, but let's do it. Whoa, swamp. No swamp, just a fast story bog. All right, I'm impressed. Okay, we can't kill anyone yet, so... Strybog is the one to target with... Zojin. We can attempt... Okay, one of them... So, we need to monitor yellows because that is a big potential problem for us. And we didn't do a great job. Alright. Oof, we got lucky. Still got the shared damage thing going on here. So they have no defense down, so they're not going to hit for like 20k or anything. Um, just thinking, do I want to use Halika now? I'm thinking of firing up Kit Yoko. I think better to heal Zojin, but what if I get stunned, then it's going to roll over. Yeah, because he's going to have a turn right after. <sighs> Tough call here. So I do have the ability to put a uh, no stun on one hero. Uh... Ooh, this is a tough call. I wish I had a little bit more mana on Alexander, and I would do that. Because, yeah, I don't know how their parent is built, but this could be extremely painful. Um, he's not going to be able to match yellows again. They're going to heal and remove some statuses. So we kind of just need to make a turn here. So let's do this, and hope we survive. <laughs> he is, why is he hitting so many times? What the hell was that? Why did he hit three times? Did he have hope on him? Oh shit, I got fucked up by hope. Damn. That must have been hope. He didn't hit hard, but <laughs> the, the hope thing really fucked it up for me. Alright, uh, so we can just kill him with tiles now. Okay, wow, that was interesting. He hits so weak, but then the third <laughs> the third time around, and then his turn after. That had to have been hope, right? There's nothing about him that allows him to hit three times. That really caught me by surprise. Alright, Halika we already used, so let's get her going again. And then this part doesn't matter. We want to just get rid of the healer. Didn't want to use it on Alexander, but I couldn't stop her in time. All right, take a big bite out of her.
All right, slowly but surely, chipping away. The nice thing about the spear link is it... What? How does that not set off the assassin's mark? That's stupid. Either way, we're good, but let's make sure. Halika does not hit Alexander. She tends to heal more often than give mana. All right, three marks is fine. Not quite enough. It is enough. Okay. All right, that one's down to one. That one's down to one. I guess we could hit the gate. I want to use a yellow team, so let's take it here. And we will bring Najar, Jasper, Perrin, and I guess we'll take Kusai. Swamped. At least the Jester can help us a little bit here. Okay, still gonna get hit with all this bullshit, but we have our ailment blocking. Nope, we're dispelled. <laughs> That did not go my way. Oh, fuck, don't I? Oh, my God. All right, Nefri's charged. We got to kill Nefri. And we're all silenced for one turn. Jesus Christ. Oh, boy. Well, they got the jump on me, I can admit that. And my Perrin... He is no more. All right, that's only gonna marginally help. Uh, gotta take some of these purples away from them. And I totally did not do it. I just grouped them up. Wow, I might lose this. I played this. I played this poorly. Oh my freaking god. Damn. I am losing this. And I think I kind of deserve to lose this. I played this pretty bad. And I just got beat. Now fucking Alexander's gonna fire. Jesus. In addition to purple, so let's take some purples away and let's try to take some greens away. Oh, heal block right as I got my healing. Damn, this is going bad for me. Oh, just taunt left. Can you win with taunt? Certainly not. <laughs> oh god damn it. Uh what can even be done? Man. How's the heal block going off that fucking often? Shit. Damn. 
Well, we just straight up got beat. Heel block going off every time they have a turn. All right, well, let's run the clock out here, so to speak. And we're done, so. Okay, I guess I should have brought some sleep or something. I got disrespected on that one. All right, last attack. Let's go. Let's go with the red team. Uh, Martin, Sophia, Akuma. Celeste. Inula. Go all out attack. All right, man, I love her monogain. So freaking good. Okay, definitely killing this guy. He's just going to keep healing the whole time. All right, everybody's asleep. Oh my god. I think I'm playing a little stupid today. Attacking the only person who could possibly have a turn. Jeez. We might as well. All right, not many uh, reds to work with here. I guess the tile damage will be better with greens. A couple of reds. All right, man, still didn't charge her. All right, and there we are done. Made a pretty, I don't know if I could even call that a mistake. I think it was. I think I should have put Inula on that team instead of Kusai. Kusai was not really bringing anything to the table there. I think Najar was a good choice. It's just unfortunate that they had their Dispel charged at the same time. But anyways, you live and you learn. So that's the war. Um, yeah, we held up pretty well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that like button and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.